Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome. Today we're tying a small globe knot which is useful for quickly covering spheres. Let's cover the supplies. We're going to be using a globe knot mandrel, an inch in diameter. This is a 4 pin globe knot mandrel, so it has a total of 4 columns of pins. Column 1, 2, 3, 4. When it comes to rows, rows C, D, E, F are sticking out of the mandrel. I have a rubber band attached, which is going to hold my cord while I'm tying the knot. Next, I'm going to be using 8 feet of Paracord 550. For the cord, I'm using a ball an inch in diameter. The final supply is a lacing needle. Begin by setting up your mandrel. Fold your cord in half. Coil half of your cord to keep it out of the way. Place your working hand under the rubber band so that we can start at C1. Attach a lacing needle onto the working hand. So this is our initial setup. So here is the pin setup for the mandrel and the run list. We begin our tying at C1. We pass to E2, then from E2 to D3. From D3, we move to F4, then from F4, we pass over 1 to C2. From C2, we pass over 1 to E3. From E3, we move over 1 to D4. From D4, we pass over 1 to F1. From F1, we move over 2 to C3. From C3, we move over 1 to E4. From E4, we pass over 1 to D1. From D1, we pass over 2 to F2. From F2, we travel the opposite to this strand, so over, under, over, reaching C4. From C4, we split these two strands going over under, reaching E1. 
from E1, we split these two strands going over under reaching D2. From D2, we split these two strands going over, under, over, reaching F3. From F3, we do our final pass, traveling the opposite to this strand here. So, under, over, under, over. Reaching C1 yet again. Pass your working end next to the standing end. Run it a bit deeper into the knot. Then reattach your lacing needle onto the other end. Follow the working end in reverse through the knot, doubling it up. When the two ends meet up, you have doubled up your knot. Sink in your screws. Slide your knot onto the core, tighten up, starting at one of the ends, going through the knot, removing slack. Tighten up two, maybe three times, until your knot is quite tightly fitted onto the core. So again, I'm going to start at one of the ends, going through the knot, removing slack. After tightening up, Work in another pass into your knot, covering any gaps and really tightening up the knot. Once tripled up, our knot is complete. Thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial and see you next time.